Whew, what a day, what a day. Uh, I, my Media Monday's done. I've, I've been recording and going at it for hours. Um, and today I'm going to talk about Omarosa and John McCain. And I, I want to say this, though. I'm very, very happy that I finally finished the Pink Right books, Read With Dot. At right.pink, you can see everything featured on the front page. It's a complete nine-part series, phonics through first basic academic English learning, uh, you know, reading a little bit about outer space and continents and oceans and stars and planets and stuff. Very simple English, but it, it goes through these, there are these eight different reading books and then before them all is phonics. And I really explain it all very well. And it's been absolutely exhausting. They're all available in paperback. Individual books, about $95, just a few pennies under, all collected into one anthology. The book is twice, twice as, as big and everything's uh, sorted a little bit differently inside. And that's uh, $45. Uh, print on demand through Amazon. So if you're a parent or if you're a teacher or you do daycare stuff or just this is a, this is a great series. I've had luck with this. I've developed this for people and I've tested it, and it's a great series. I'm very excited about it. It's all available free online, and I'm, I'm just, I'm exhausted, and I'm thrilled. And also, to go with it, I have finished and compiled my own handwriting curriculum. That's completely free. I, you can't even purchase it because it's just like, it's like 10 pages. And you can go to the PinkWrite website, write.pink, and you can, the books are explained there. I've got a video coming out soon that explains the, the, the Read With Dot series. And the handwriting, you can download a PDF file and print it, and that's the entire handwriting curriculum. Uh, add a notebook, and, and there you go. So it even does cursive, and I've got my own typing curriculum, of course. So I'm really, really happy that that's all done. Thank you for listening. Now, Omarosa and John McCain. Um, this week... In the Taiwan special series, I'm going to be talking about personality disorders and how that relates to uh, the Asian shame culture. I'm not an expert on psychology, but I've noticed that, I, I mean, mental health, you know, what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm lay, I'm not an expert, I'm not putting PhD next to my name, so I'm not, I'm not pretending here, I'm speaking as a lay. Uh, a layperson or whatever layman. In, in, in psychology, mental health means three things, generally. It means being happy as a person, being productive, your life lifts others. It's called prosperity or profitability is, is another way to look at it. You're, you're productive, you're useful, you're a lifter, not a leaner. And uh, you have lo you have internal happiness. It's 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 um, being productive, long term relationships, internal happiness. People that are mean and cruel and abusive to others are not mentally healthy. So abusive people that that beat others and hurt others. That's what mental illness is about. People that can't keep friendships, like they just can't. I don't I don't mean. They lose a lot of friends. I mean, maybe three quarters of the people might not like you, but at least you've got some people that say loyal to you, you know, and you're loyal to them. If you can't keep any friends, or you've only got like two or three, like that's weird. That's not mentally healthy. If you have trouble making friends, get some counseling. That might help, you know, like, you know. Mm. So, People that are mentally unhealthy are abusive. And for some reason, certain people attract that verbal abuse from mentally unhealthy people. Now, maybe they need counseling. Maybe they need therapy. I don't know. Maybe they have a personality disorder. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're insane. Maybe they're certifiable. Maybe they're, they're not. They're just not totally healthy. I think Omarosa is one of those people that attracts attention from people that need mental help. 
They people who maybe at least need counseling. They want to abuse and be mean to someone and they like being mean to her. She doesn't have the problem. They do. And I think she might be one of those people. I, I think people with Asperger tend to draw a lot of that. I've seen that. But I don't, I don't want to speculate too much on that. Now, uh, I mean, I, I'm over here and there, there's a kid that we think he's got Asperger and he, um, he's, he's American. He has native English from his father, but he's not been to America, except maybe only on a very short visit. And his teachers don't like him because he knows English better than any of them. So, you know, people like to pick on him. And I think Amoroso was one of those people. Now, I'm, I'm going to be, I mean, I, I, I've had falling outs with people that have been mean to me. I, I'm, I know. See, I'm one of those people that the mental, there should be mental patients like to pick on. And I recently, I looked back at my life and I said, you know, all those people that were mean to me needed mental help. They needed counseling. Like they were just mean people and they just liked me for some reason. So uh, I, I don't think that Amorosa's, is, it's not racism specifically, but it is prejudice. It is unfair. The way people were mean to her was not fair, but I don't think it was just about being black because I've had the same thing and I'm white. So I remember hearing her story from an interview on Meet the Press. That's, that's what I'm basing this on. So I think she's one of those people. And frankly, I think Trump needs to hire her back. And I wrote about this in the, in the Encore. So I might come back to this later, but um, I think she'd be very, very useful. Because I think on the Trump team, um, if Trump were to hire her directly, you know, John, John, you know, K Kelly's, he's a soldier. He's a military man. And, and she's an independent thinker. And military men don't like that. He's trying to get, you know, the crew in order. And uh, Trump wanted her so she could be a loose cannon. So, you know, personality conflict and, you know, but the thing is this, she had that nose that told her, re get the recording out. He's going to say something juicy. And she knew to do that. And it, she was doing it other times too and stuff and you know, supposedly whatever. I, I don't, but she knew to do that. That's smart. She's got a nose. She has a good nose. And I think Trump needs to hire that nose back and make, you know, you know, re repair the, the burn bridges. Now, um, what she did, I think is unfortunate. And I, you know, I myself have said things. I'm very, very sad to say, I don't remember specific times, but I do believe in my past, I have regrettably used the N word in a moment that I was either trying to be cool uh, with, with people I shouldn't have cared about the opinions of anyway, or I was just really, really angry. Um, we were talking a long time ago, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, uh, any, any time recently, but, uh, you know, we all say things that we don't mean because we're angry or we're trying to impress somebody. And I think Diamond and Silk said it, you know, one word long ago does not undo 15 years. And I think that, that one thing Trump said was right, that it's unfortunate that she's gone the route of making money for her book. I myself have had people being unfair to me and I've thought about going public with their dirty laundry. And I decided not to. And I, I just, I'd hope, I think Amorosa can go back to Trump and write another book about how it all got better. I'd love to see it. I don't know. Um, that, that, that's my thought. I, I think that she's a favorite of the should be mental patients. And, and uh, I think that's what's going on. It's, 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 she's, you know, they're biased for her because she's mentally healthy. And I, I hope that she chooses the road of patients. I don't know though. As for John McCain, uh, God rest his soul, um, I liked Joe Biden's speech. I despised Obama's. I despised, uh, at least what he, he kept getting venomous. Obama was angry and distracting going, at, it's like, this is a really angry man. This, you know, Obama's, we're talking a very, very angry person. And, and I think, I think we need help there. Joe Biden started representing stuff McCain would say, saying it how he would say it. I thought that was appropriate. And so did his daughter, Megan. I don't agree with Megan or Joe Biden, but I, I think that it was appropriate what they said. And I'm glad they said it because it was McCain's funeral and that's who he was and what he thought. Uh, Bush also, I think, did a good job. But Obama was the one I was very disappointed with. Very, very disappointed. That's, that's not presidential. Distracting, talking about people not in the room being so angry. I mean, just venom is dripping off of him. That wasn't good. So uh, there I said it. I actually got to the things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, but McCain, God rest his soul. Um, let's all love each other and, and let's see what the future has for us. Cheerio.